Hello, I'm John Kalaga, President of Ohio Christian University. It is my honor to welcome you to the first virtual Festival of Carols. Everything in 2020 looks and feels a little different, so why not Festival of Carols? It has been our joy to bring you this gift of music each year on the campus of Ohio Christian University. And with all the other events and special gatherings that are being canceled, we did not want to disappoint. So even during this time of a pandemic, perhaps especially during this time, we wanted to be present and to remind and encourage you that God is with us. In the middle of all the COVID crisis, social unrest, and post-election drama that's facing our country, remember, God is with us. And the great thing to remember is that though our feelings come and go, and they go up and down, God's love for us does not. In a world that seems to change every day, we have a God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So sit back, get comfortable, grab a good cup of coffee, and enjoy Emmanuel. God is with us. Where is God? 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 Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive Israel. We gently did exceed the old. We bought those days. Emmanuel, God is with us, and he is. And how do we know? Well, in the darkest, scariest of times, he has been there. In the ark with Noah, he was there. In the belly of the whale with Jonah, he was there. In the pit and prison with Joseph, he was there. And in the lion's den with Daniel, he was there. And my friend, he is here with us now. He is faithful. He is with us. Thank you. 
Especially in 2020, God has seemed far away. Where is he in the midst of all of this sickness, loss, and grief? What do the scriptures tell us about God in times like these? Psalms 34, 18 says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. 
Deuteronomy 31 and 8 says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Friend, God knows our pain. After all, he sent his only son here to take on human form, live a sinless life, and die on the cross for our sins. And so we can rest in knowing Emmanuel, God with us.
wider than they've been before. Deep within, I feel my soul is stirring as though my hope has been restored. The shepherds say they've heard the voice of angels, confirming rumors spread across the land that a child protected well from Herod's anger is our father's son and the son of man. Love is raining down on the world tonight. There's a presence here I can tell. God is in us. God is for us. God is with us, Emmanuel. He's a Savior we have been praying for. In our humble hearts, He will dwell. God is in us. God is for us. God is with us.
In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. This is the symphony of Christmas. Since the fall of man in the Garden of Eden, sin has separated all of us from the holiness of God. For centuries, the payment for the penalty of sin was through a blood sacrifice. Countless innocent lambs were slain in an attempt to obtain righteousness before God. Oh, however, our Heavenly Father had a master plan. You see, he chose to send his one and only son, Jesus, to give his life as the final payment for all sin. And so, after 400 years of silence between God and his people, he sent a messenger to a chosen one, a young virgin girl named Mary. the angel's words. But her betrothed husband, Joseph, was troubled by the news. He made plans to quietly end his engagement to Mary. But an angel appeared to him in a dream, saying, Fear not, for that which is conceived in Mary is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And it came to pass that a decree went out that the whole Roman Empire should be registered. Joseph took Mary and begun the wearisome journey to the town of his ancestors, Bethlehem. Oh, come, oh, come. a town overwhelmed with people and they could not find no place to stay. Mary knew that the time to deliver the baby was near 
So Joseph pleaded with an innkeeper who offered them shelter in his stable there in the presence of lowly cattle and sheep. Mary gave birth to Jesus. The King of Heaven, who could have came in regal robes on a mighty horse surrounded by angelic armies, chose to come softly, sweetly, as a newborn baby lying in a manger. streets were empty, the marketplace sat dormant, and on the outskirts of town, shepherds kept a sleepy but watchful eye on their flocks. A gentle breeze drifted through the fields underneath a velvet sky as time almost seemed to stand still. Suddenly, the calm was broken by an immense light as an angel of the Lord burst forth from the heavens with a proclamation, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring good news of great joy, which shall be for all the world. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Now you must go and find him. Look for a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. All at once, the skies were consumed by a massive choir of angels as their voices rang out in triumphant praise. They shared the news with all that would hear, and they came to worship.
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. To those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, new light has dawned. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. The Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace and of his kingdom. There shall be no end. A great star rose over the place where Jesus was born. It led three wise men from the east to come and worship him.
Lord above all lords. Myrrh, for the sacrifice to end all sacrifices. Gold, for the king above all kings. 